talk to you about using the pen tool. And I want to reveal to you just a few very important keyboard shortcuts. Once you learn these shortcuts, really try and commit them to memory. Because without knowing these keyboard shortcuts, I feel like when you use the pen tool, you'd feel quite naked without them. So for your own good, I want you to learn these two keyboard shortcuts. The first one is the command key. Command key. If you hold down the command key, it will turn the pen tool into the direct selection tool. Or some people like to just call it the arrow tool because that's what it looks like. And by holding down the command key, you will then turn your pen tool into that selection tool that will allow you to click on any point on the path that you make with your pen tool. And you will be able to adjust it just by holding down that command key. The other keyboard shortcut that I'd like you to learn is holding down the option key. Hold down the option key while you're on the pen tool and that option key will give you what's called the convert point tool. And by converting the point, you can then change any anchor point to a straight anchor point, a Bezier curve anchor point, or you can change the direction of any curve just by holding down the option key. So to review, holding down the command key when you're on the pen tool will switch that pen tool to the direct selection tool or what's known as the arrow key. And holding down the option key will switch your pen tool to the convert point key, which will allow you to move either Bezier handles independently or to change your anchor point from a straight or curved anchor point to the opposite. So I feel like if you've memorized those two keyboard shortcuts, you will be able to wash your pen tool troubles right out of your hair. Okay, so now let's put these shortcuts to work. Um, I'm going on the pen tool and I'm going to outline this option shampoo. So I'll start down here at the bottom. Let's see if I could get as much screen space as possible. And I'm going to, actually I'll start right here. I'm going to click and now you could see that this is a upward facing curve. So I'm going to click right where the curve begins and click and drag. And now I'll go over here on this edge and click and drag. And now I'm going to get my direct selection tool. So what would that be? That's going to be the command key. So see how my pen tool and I'll zoom way in. I'm holding down the space bar to move in. And now I'm holding down the command key and I will adjust these two handles. See how great that is? To fit exactly to the contour. And actually I think I'm going to move my whole anchor point down just a little bit and move that. And I'm keeping my finger the whole time on the command key to make this fit. Okay, now I want to go straight up this bottle cap. And so this Bezier curve, right, this handle is not going to be my friend. I need to convert that. So if you remember the convert anchor point shortcut 
is to now hold down the Option key. And can you see this tiny, tiny little conversion tool? The Pen tool has that tiny less than sign next to it. And when I click on that point, notice that part of the Bezier curve handle goes away. And now I'm left with a sort of one-sided straight selection tool. And I'm just going to go straight up the cap here and click once. Now let's take a look at what we got. Um, I think now we need a curve. So I'm going to click on this anchor point. And if I want to realign this as a Bezier curve, I actually don't have to convert it. All I have to do is click on it and drag. See how I have that kind of, people call this like gum stuck to your shoe. It's a rubber band effect is the actual name. And I drag that handle up. And then I think I'm going to have to zoom out just a little so I could see. I'm going to come over here to the other side of the cap where the curve ends and drag down. Look at that. How lovely. Barely have to even adjust it. I could look real close. Wow, pretty good. Um, I might adjust that key. I'm holding down command a little bit and might adjust that. Okay, now I need a straight line going straight down the side here. So I need to convert one more time. So now I'm holding down the option key and notice my pen tool has, as soon as I get to the anchor point, it's got a teeny tiny little convert point and you saw how that handle goes away. So now I come down here and click. So now I've got a straight line. Now I have a curve coming up. So I'm going to click and I'm not holding down any key. I can drag a bezier handle off of any anchor point. So I'm going to click and drag up. This is kind of a low and slow curve here. So I'm not dragging a really tall point there. And then I'm going to come over to the end of the curve and click and drag down. You know, I sort of think dragging these curves is sort of like surfing actually. So if you surf or skate or even snowboard, um, holding down the command key now to adjust this. Um, what you have to do if you're going to be good at surfing is anticipate your next move as you're in the midst of a wave. So kind of think about using the pen tool is kind of a type of Zen surfing. And so as you're moving through it, you can kind of think ahead and kind of seamlessly go, okay, I'm heading toward a straight line here. So I'll zoom out. I'm going to convert this point. So I'm holding down option. Then I'll go straight down to the bottom of this bottle. Easy as that. And then now I need a downward sloping arc here. So I'm clicking, not holding down anything, dragging a handle out. That's probably too big. And then I come over to the other side where that curve ends and go the opposite direction. Oops. Okay. So now I'm holding down the command key to get the direct arrow. See how fun this is? It's actually really kind of soothing. Okay, and now I need a straight line. So I'm going to hold down Option, convert that point, and then close the path. So just that little bit of time, and of course I go in and adjust all of these. Um, but now I'm going to take that path. I'm going to name it Option. Click OK and now load it as a selection. So there it is. Um, I have a selection which, you know, I could do all sorts of things with. I could um, copy it and then move it. So 
that selection, anything that you would do with marching ants or a selection, which would be copying, adjusting, applying um, color balance to it or, or contrast balance. So it's endlessly useful and, and actually gives you a smoother and cleaner selection than something like the layer mask. So the paths, once you close your image, as long as you've named it, will continue to be a part of your image. Um, if you want to delete it, you'll just drag that path to the trash can to get rid of it. And if you want to reawaken your path, you just highlight that layer. So we'll be using a lot of paths for this assignment. It will start off seeming very awkward even not and not very intuitive but if you remember these shortcuts and those shortcuts are crucial then you won't be going back and forth back and forth to the direct selection tool the convert tool the pen tool I did that in the first videos to just show you where those were but after that really all you need is the pen tool and um, and then basically just remembering command and option. Option being the convert tool and command giving you that direct selection. So hopefully I drilled that in enough that you now will commit that to memory and make the use of your pen tool kind of like a, um, a Zen experience.